All right, so uh, I'm gonna make a quick uh, recall training video that I've been meaning to do for a long time. So um, I'm gonna try not to rush through it, but I'm probably gonna rush through it a little bit. Um, so leash uh, recall, um, the way I teach recall is the same way I do leash conditioning um, with leash pressure, teaching the dog that when it feels this on the leash to take one step forward, I mark that, I reward it, and I, um, that's how I condition to any collar or um, any new tool that I'm using with training. I, I like to do it through leash pressure. Um, that's the first step to it. Um, so this dog, I've been working with um, Bella for a while. Um, she's getting really good at recall. Um, so uh, I might kind of jump through and skip ahead with stuff, but I'll try to point it out where I'm doing that. Um, what I recommend is starting out with just a regular six foot leash, your standard leash, no matter, um, use anything, use a rope, whatever you want to use. I like using a collar, um, a martingale, slip something that will apply a little bit of pressure. And all I'm going to do is hold the leash laterally. Bella, sit. You want to hold this leash lateral to the ground. You don't want to be pulling up on it lateral. I apply a little bit of pressure. When she takes one step forward towards me, I will mark it with a yes and reward her. Bella, sit. One up. She's tired. So, oh, up. Okay. So it goes like this. Leash is lateral. I pull. Yes, good girl. Do it again. Bella. Sit. Leash is lateral. I'm going to... Bella. Yes, good girl. Good girl. She just wants to lay down and do nothing. Okay. Once your dog knows that, that's the first step. If, they, if you can't get them to come back to you from five feet away, you're not gonna be able to do this from 50, 100, you know, uh, 200 yards away, whatever it may be. That's the first step. Um, actually back up, that's the second step. First step is getting your dog to look you in the eye, the focus training stuff that I always talk about, being relevant to your dog. That's the first step. Once your dog can do that, then you go to this. So, but in recall training, this is the first step, getting your dog to understand this leash pressure. One more time. Bella, come. come. Sit. Straight line. Bella, think. Yes, good girl, good girl. Rewarding that. All right. Once your dog understands that, that is it. Now you just do a shit ton of reps, a hundred of them. Do it over and over until your dog just knows when it feels that or hears the command. You can use whatever you want. Some people use come, here. I use with me. Pick any word, zucchini, doesn't matter. Your dog, you do it a hundred times, your dog will start running to you when you say zucchini. Once you can do this on a five or six foot lead, I recommend going to a 15 foot lead um, and do the exact same thing. It's all it is. I like to, you know, I talk about the structured walks when we're out on our walks every night and I give them their break, their free time to go do what they want to do. When they're in that free time, I will randomly use a 15 foot leash or whatever. And I get, when they're not expecting it and I'm 15 feet away, I go with me and I pull them in if they don't come in on their own. So they get that recall training just starts to happen every day on their walks, just from hearing that and leash pressure. It's all about doing it daily. The reps build up. The more and more you do this shit, the more your dog gets it. If you don't have the time to carve out training sessions, do it on your walks. Um, you should carve out training sessions, it'll go way quicker too. But you don't have to train 24 seven, start implementing this shit throughout the day. Once you go to a 15 foot leash, master that. Then I have a 30 foot leash, I got a 50 foot leash. I'll tie them together sometimes. The leash she's on right now is a 100 foot leash. Um, I have a harness on her because I'm doing some e-collar work with her while I was out here today. Um, I layer the e-collar on top of everything. Um, she doesn't need it. I just, I just like, I like training, that's what I do. So uh, I'm using the e-collar with her today. I'm not using it for what you just saw or anything that I'm doing in this video. I'm just pointing out the tools that she has on. She has an e-collar on her neck and she also has a harness on because when I'm using the e-collar, I like to clip it to the harness. She understands leash pressure, no problem. Um, she understands verbal commands. So I'm using the, doing some e-collar work with her today. I'm not gonna use the e-collar for any of this right now. So she's on a 100 foot lead. I'm gonna try to get her to um, go out there and I'll show you what it looks like. Bella, come on, Bella. Break. So, 
I'm just letting her walk off a little bit. I want her to get at a distance. I'll back up a little bit. Not sure if you guys can still see her. At the full 100 feet. Bella, with me. Yes, good girl. That's how I train recall. No e-caller there at all. Actually, just so you know, my e-caller remote is over here. So, all this can be done with leashes. Long leashes, there's no magic to this. There's, there's really nothing to it, actually. It's about you putting in the time, finding a place like this, nice wide open area no distractions that is the next thing once your dog can do this shit in an area like this then you got to bring them around distractions because the whole game changes um so that's uh my quick six minute and 30 second video on recall training um i could go into like all kinds of great depth and make this a 30 minute video but uh i don't think there's a need to there's nothing to this um it's about you spending the time with your dog doing this stuff um giving your commands the right way sorry my hand's in the way um, learning how to mark and reward and give the commands consistently I say it all the time once you understand that you can teach these guys anything that you want because it becomes very very clear to them do one more because she's not paying attention Bella with me <laughs> yes good girl good job yes good girl hope this helps somebody Peace.